Now, I want you to see this about the true identity of the woman that attacked Lakewood Church. You will not see this in the mainstream media because it goes against the narrative. Howdy, y'all. I'm Brylan. Now, you've probably heard about the shooting that happened at Joel Osteen's Lakewood Church yesterday. It's all over the news. However, in this video, I want to share with you some details that the media isn't going to tell you. And I also want to share with you exactly who the shooter was. You will not hear this from the mainstream media because it doesn't fit their narrative. And trust me, the identity of the shooter is going to blow you away. First, here's some details. Shooter carrying AR-15 emblazoned with Free Palestine shoots up Joel Osteen's mega church. Now, this video is not going to be about Joel Osteen's false health and wealth theology. What happened at Lakewood is absolutely disgusting, regardless of how you feel about Joel Osteen. However, if you want to know more about my thoughts on Joel Osteen, you can search Joel Osteen on my channel and learn more about that. However, let's look at some of the details of what actually happened yesterday and see who the shooter actually was. Again, the media won't tell you this. Real quick, would you consider hitting that thumbs up button? You know when you like this video, you're not agreeing with the insanity. You're helping push this video out to more people to help spread the truth. A woman carrying an AR-15 that had Free Palestine written on it started shooting at the megachurch of celebrity pastor Joel Osteen in Houston on Sunday. Injured one man, and this man was shot in the leg, so he's supposedly going to be completely fine before she was taken out by two off-duty officers working as security. And then here's an absolute tragic part of this story. A young child with the woman was critically hurt. The child was not expected to survive. What a terrible, absolute horrid tragedy for this woman to bring a child into this and put this child, well, obviously this child's life is not expected to go on. She'll have to answer for that before God. The attacker, who was reported to be between 30 and 35 years old, entered the Lakewood Church, which is attended by 45,000 people. Opened fire, Houston Police Chief Troy Finner said. And we're going to look at a statement by Joel Osteen himself in just a second. But I want you to see this. The off-duty officers were 28-year-old Houston Police Department officer and a 38-year-old agent with the Texas Alcoholic Beverage Commission. So one thing you have to know is that it was two good guys with guns that stopped the bad guy with the gun. This has nothing to do... You're going to see this used as a narrative. You're already starting to see it. This used as a narrative for more attacks on the Second Amendment for more gun control. But of course, they're not going to look at the fact that this could have been a much worse tragedy had there not been good guys with guns to stop this from going any further. Here's a statement that Joel Osteen put out on his social medias, and it's quite vague. In fact, you had lots of people in the comment section asking what happened. What happened? Because he didn't state uh, what happened here. But he says, Our community is devastated by today's events and grateful for the swift actions of law enforcement. May the healing hands of God touch the lives of everyone involved and provide comfort during this difficult time. In the face of such darkness, we must hold on to our faith and remember evil will not prevail. God will guide us through the darkest of times. Together, we will rise above this tragedy and stand firm in our commitment to love and support one another. In times like these, our faith is tested, but it is also strengthened. We don't always understand why things like this happen, but we know that God is in control. Please join me in continued prayer for healing and peace. Now, there is truth in what he says here. However, we must understand that no matter how we feel about Joel Osteen or his teaching, we must know that God can and will work through this. And I think that we should pray for absolutely everyone involved in this tragedy. And let's pray that God would spark something in Joel Osteen to unashamedly preach the gospel in God's word truthfully and fully. Now, I want you to see this about the true identity 
of the woman that attacked Lakewood Church. You will not see this in the mainstream media because it goes against the narrative. Look at this. Lakewood Church attacker identified as a twin. Legal name Janice Moreno, but went by the name Jeffrey. Tons more mugshots. This is a woman that had a lot of issues, obviously. Place of birth, El Salvador. Race, white. Ethnicity, non-Hispanic. If only that were true, the media would absolutely love this story. That's what's so sickening about it. The media loves. They wait for this to happen. They pray to their mystical self-gods to allow things like this to happen by people that they can blame the whole social justice narrative on. But this is exactly what the mainstream media hates to see. I mean, this is... A woman that uh, identified as twan over time became more and more twan, I guess, and ran into a church screaming free Palestine so that she could take the lives of people. The, oh, this, this goes directly against what the mainstream media is telling you is actually happening on a day-to-day -day basis. But what you're seeing here is someone with an absolutely evil, wicked heart, possibly mental health issues, being fed by the mainstream media to do what she did. What they are doing is feeding the extremist evil agenda to cause harm and spread hatred, true hatred. In fact, I can tell you right now, if there's some sort of manifesto, something left behind, you ain't gonna see it. It doesn't fit the mainstream media narrative. You know, I want you to see this in Romans chapter one. These are the effects of an evil, wicked heart given over to a debased mind. Look at verse 28 here. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a debased mind to do those things which are not fitting, being filled with all unrighteousness, sexual immorality, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, evil-mindedness. They are whispers, backbiters, haters of God, violent, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, undiscerning, untrustworthy, unloving, unforgiving, unmerciful, who knowing the righteous judgment of God, that those who practice such things are deserving of death, not only do the same, but also approve of those who practice them. Do you see what you're getting in our society today? are those who are our moral superiors, our moral betters within the mainstream media, within Hollywood, the government, you name it. And they are exactly doing this. They are not only doing these things that bring on the judgment of God, but also approve of those who practice them. You see the media, Hollywood, our own government feeding into this narrative, feeding people's evil, wicked, backwards hearts in order for them to be filled even more and more with all of this evil, wicked behavior. And they know what they're doing. They're not able to hide behind ignorance because uh, the word of God says right here, verse 32, who knowing the righteous judgment of God, that those who practice such things are deserving of death, not only do the same, but also approve of those who practice them. They know that their hatred for God and the truth is so severe that they are willing to sacrifice the masses to this debased and depraved way of thinking so that everything will be backwards. Up is down, down is up, evil is good, good is evil. Let's pray that there would be a wake-up call within Lakewood and that many would come to have a genuine and true faith in Jesus Christ. But let's also pray for our nation, that the debased, depraved mindset that is spreading like a wildfire would cease and that God would allow revival and restoration of truth within our society. But hey, let me know your thoughts about all this in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. And please hit that subscribe button, join this community. I would love to hear from you regularly. And if you wouldn't mind hitting that thumbs up button, you know when you like this video, it'll get pushed out to more people and it would really help spread the truth. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.